I'm sitting here at Argo Power Equipment and uh, got a get the picture message that I'm very excited about. Uh, recently, my family, we all experienced a stomach bug that came through our home and there is nothing like a stomach virus to stop us dead in our tracks and make us rest. And in fact, when I was sitting there resting, I was thinking about the time when God established rest. We understand that God created the world in six days. On the seventh day, He rested. Have you ever stopped to wonder why? Did God rest because He needed the rest? Uh, you know, we understand that God doesn't need to rest like you or like me. And in fact, we're, we're told, have you not known? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. In fact, he gives power to the faint. And to him who has no might, he increases strength. Even youth shall faint and be weary, and young men shall fall exhausted. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. So we understand that God didn't need the rest, yet He still rested. What was the reason that God rested? Well, we find it when He Im Im implemented the Ten Commandments. And if you're like me, when you've seen the Ten Commandments, you've read the ten bulleted points for the Ten Commandments. But if you'll go back to Exodus chapter 20 with me, you'll see that there are more to each commandment than meets the eye. In fact, oftentimes if you read between those lines, you will actually find the reasons for those Ten Commandments. And the remembering of the Sabbath day to keep it holy is no exception. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work. But the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord your God. On it you shall not do any work, you or your son or your daughter, your male servant or your female servant, or your livestock, or the sojourner who is within your gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them. And he rested on the seventh day. Therefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and made it holy. So why did he bless the Sabbath day and make it holy? We understand that, uh, that when Jesus rose from the dead, it was on a Sunday, and that is now when we worship him today. We no longer take part in the Sabbath day, rest as far as on a Saturday. We now worship Sunday. But did you, did you notice what was said, that the Sabbath was to be a day of rest to the Lord? a time in which we stop and we remember that it took six days for the Lord to create heavens and the earth. If we spend one day thinking about what God has done for us, we will be blessed. It will cause us in the stillness to know that there is a God and we are not Him. I'm reminded of what the psalmist said, he says, about God. God says, I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. How is that going to happen? When we take part in the first section of that verse. Be still and know that I am God. So be still. Now you get the picture.